about two Jewish families in two different times, the 30s slash uh, 40s in Germany, i.e. the rise of the Nazi party and the, the tightening fist of the Reich around the Jews, and a uh, modern-day Brooklyn Jewish family who um, are struggling to make a Shabbat dinner, which is the Sabbath dinner on Friday nights, um, more meaningful in their lives. One of the things that makes that um, culture and the religion fascinating is that there is that that debate and dissent is encouraged, and that within that culture, even though people get very angry, the general sense is that of course we'd be discussing this. And we we categorise our kids in schools, we categorise each other in um, the way we ghettoise each other and ourselves in our cities separations on the West Bank and all across the world rather than pointing the finger right here in this city right here in in our lives right uh, football teams and so on and so forth there's just you know we take we take strength in grouping together and and making sure that somebody's excluded from that group I wanted to show a real family with diverse opinions the, the mother loves everybody and, um, and the kids all have different, um, point, different viewpoints on that scale. Somebody may seem very unprejudiced, but not like gypsies, or so on and so forth. I went out with a Jewish guy for eight years, and so I was very much part of his family and stuff. And, um, and what w always impressed me was, A, the Jewish sense of humour, despite some terrible things having happened to them over thousands of years, and, um, and their capacity for philosophizing and discussion and debate. So it's that need to cross over to each other and yet the divisions that society or ourselves make between us. It makes us more free. It makes us less afraid. Humor is, you know, humor is a way of saying, um, I can survive this. Mm. I think it's really important and I think Jewish people have been brilliant at that.